What's going on everybody? It's King Starscream here and today I got a video on my top 15 favorite Pokemon Sword and Shield mods So if you haven't already hit that subscription button for me go ahead and do that now and we will jump on into this Also be sure to check the description below so you can follow all content creators on their social media Number 15 Alright, this first mod we're going to look at brings fan-made Pokemon from other games and concept art and takes them into the Sword and Shield. It also has some Pokemon from other games like that Diglett and Dialga. We got Lueki and Meowth, which is a fan-made game. We got Primal Dialga from Mystery Dungeon. We got Shadow Celebi, you know the Shadow Pokemon, and Pokemon Uranium's Magikarp, as well as its evolution, Gyarados. And then finally, we have the Diglett from Pokemon Stadium, where you toss hoops on him that are Ekans. Number 14. Alright, so our next mod is a quality of life improvement. Basically gets rid of that ugly bag you always have to wear. So for this one, it's called the No Bag mod. So you replace the leather trim bag, and it basically just is invisible, so you don't have to look at it no more. I definitely love this mod. I hate that bag I just do so you can see how it interacts with the world it just basically comes up invisible it doesn't crash or do anything to your game it's a pretty useful mod it also goes well with the next one so this next mod you need this to work properly number 13 so this next mod is for the female character and as you play the game you'll run into other little kid trainers in the Eevee suit Unfortunately, you can't buy them, but this mod allows you to wear that. So again, this is for the female character only, and there is no Pikachu, unfortunately. But it's still pretty cute, and the no bag mod helps out with that, so it looks pretty smooth and clean. Overall, it's a pretty cute mod, and if you're interested, I suggest you try that out. Look how cute it is sneaking around in the grass. Number 12. Up next we got the HD texture mod. As you can see on the left side of the screen, the tiles are more defined. So basically this mod breathes new life into the graphical game. Some areas are more overhauled if you could call it and some others are pretty simple. I haven't really played too much into it and this is also the base version of the mod. It's been vastly overdone by other people. Again, I just don't play with it too much, but I thought I would show it again in here. That's why it's so low on the list, but if you want to check it out, here it is. Number 11. Next up, we have the Master Zero Cycle. So if you're a fan of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, this mod is for you. You get to run around all day playing your heart out with the Master Zero Cycle. So be sure to do that if you want to do that because I know I'm one of the people that wants to do that and you're probably one of the people that wants to do that so let's do that. Number 10. Next up we got alternate color mods. It takes Pokemon that suck like Gengar and makes their forms better. We got Growlithe as blue. Arcanine looks amazing. Look at that. We also got a pink Jirachi. We got red Gardevoir. Uh, we got Espeon with alternate colors. We also got an Umbreon with alternate colors. Glaceon looks cool with the red and black. We got Leafeon with purple. There's a Zygarde that's red from the Pokemon X and Y series. We also got an entire di different color Sabo line. So this mod's pretty awesome. Be sure to check it out. Number 9. Alright, this next mod secretly one of my favorites. I like changing the character clothes, but I didn't have very many options. So, if you want stuff like this Monster Energy shirt, you can go ahead and mod them. If you want band t-shirts like this MCR shirt, you can go ahead and mod them in there. I absolutely love these shirts, so I'm really excited to play with them. There's also a few jackets and stuff like that. There's also, you know, hats, there's some Nike clothes. You just gotta check out the mods, but I'm really into this one. I love it. Number eight. All right, next up we got the non-Pokemon mods. So this takes a bunch of anime characters, and as you can see, the PlayStation boys, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and it just throws them in the game. It kind of shows you what you can do with all the stuff on here. And plus, there's a modder out there. I'll go ahead and link his information below. 
that'll go he'll go ahead and turn anything that you want into a, a Pokemon so you can have characters from say the bleach anime or Monster Rancher or a movie for example he, he can hook you up with that I'll go ahead and link his stuff in the description below it's a pretty cool process so go ahead and check out the rest of these animations and we'll go ahead and hit up the next on our list I love Crash Bandicoot by the way look at his little face he kills me look how small he is that one a side beam look at that and then these two girls my god this is like when you ask your girlfriend to tell the waiter you got mashed potatoes not french fries she's on it I just think it's pretty cool all these mods you know I've seen them but while I'm making the movie you know they blow me away as I'm making this video Number seven. All right, next up we got one of my favorite mods. This is the Pokemon anime mod. As you can see, several characters from the show appear in this game now, like the Primeape with the Ash Hat, the Ho-Oh he's seen, Snowman Snorlax, and the Crystal Onyx. We also have Golden Pseudo Wudo who shows up in an episode. And if you remember, when Ash left on his adventure, he took Pikachu with him and they both saw Ho-Oh that day. Many people have said that this is why Ash is still 10 years old, because he wished to be the best Pokemon trainer, thus freezing him as a 10 year old forever. Either way, I think the golden color on Ho-Oh looks amazing, and it's an awesome mod in the game. Up next we have Snowman Snorlax. He's a special guy from one of the Pokemon Christmas specials. They make a snowman, overnight he comes to life, and they find a bunch of other Snowman Snorlax, but it all turns out just to be a dream. Either way, it's still pretty cool to have him in here, and I love his colors. Uh, speaking of colors, look at Golden Sura Wudo. I love how gold he is, and he shows up in another episode of the anime. He was pretty much a troublemaker, that one, if I remember right. But either way, it's cool to have him in here. That golden color looks amazing. Up next, we got Sunglasses Squirtle. You know him from the Squirtle Squad. He was a troublemaker that caused trouble for Ash and ends up becoming a firefighter and then Ash takes him on his journey. I love this Pokemon so much. Next up we have Ash Hat Primeape. He's another Pokemon from the anime. Ash has a Mankey that steals his hat. It evolves into Primeape and Ash ends up catching him. Again another cool Pokemon to have. Next up we have the Crystal Onyx which is probably my favorite Pokemon mod. We have an episode in the Orange Islands where they meet a Pokemon glass blower and he's trying to make statues with life in him but he has no inspiration and here's a rumor of a crystal onyx that turns out to be true. They go and see this onyx and it breathes new life into his sculptures so I think it's awesome to have this Pokemon in here. Number 6 Up next we got a pretty wacky mod. This is the Pokemon Fusions mod and you've seen the posts online you guys. What if two Pokemon were slapped together that shouldn't be? Plus, there's one from the manga as well as a fusion from the anime, so let's go ahead and check that out. If you don't remember, Ash's Pokemon were tricked by Ghastly into thinking Blastoise and Venusaur fused, creating Venus Toys. Now, if you guys want to play with him in all his glory on Pokemon Sword, you can. All you gotta do is check out the mods. He's awesome. Next up, we got the little cutest boy in the world, Venusaur mixed with Bulbasaur. If you do anything to hurt him, I will come for you and your entire family. Don't mess around. Up next, we got Kangaskhan mixed with Miltank. I gotta say, this is pretty crazy looking, but isn't that what Pokemon fusions are all about? Up next, we got Galarian Zapdos mixed with Ho-Oh. Not gonna lie, look how awesome he looks. I think it looks crazy looking. Next up, we got Aerodactyl, bottom half, mixed with Draco Zolt's top half. What an abomination he is, but I can't lie, his smiling face makes me want to give him candy for Halloween. Next up, we got Palkia, mixed with Dialga. This is a fusion from the manga, as well as the upcoming Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remake. Number 5. Alright you guys, so this next mod is crazy. This is the wild Pokemon modifier, so this just changes the spawn to have crazy stuff pop up on you out of nowhere. I love it, it's really entertaining to run around and see things you don't normally see, especially when the legendaries pop up on you, it's awesome. 
So check this mod out if you want. I highly recommend it. It just makes the game a lot funner. Look at that Porygon and that Leafeon. Oh, see, it's just awesome. Number four. This next mod is the fake Pokemon mod. Much like a Lolan and Galarian region forms, many people online will create their own, and this is just the modders breathing those life. Like this little Magnemite here, this is called Ancestral Magnemite. He is now a rock type and evolves into Ancestral Magneton. Up next, we got a fighting type. Why not? Look at that little red color. He's so cute. We got the Magnemite again, and look at this little Hoot Hoot. He is an ice type now, and he's way more cute. I think the Hoot Hoot's cooler than Knocked Out. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Number three. All right, everybody, so check out this next mod. It's pretty crazy. It's definitely in my top five for a reason. I really love this mod. Uh, I grew up with Pokemon, so if you can't recognize this already, I'm gonna go ahead and elaborate real quick. So back when Pokemon was first starting out, it was only 151, you know, and everybody was like, who's number 151? And it was Mew, and Mewtwo was cloned from him. Team Rocket had this plan to make the super strong Pokemon Mewtwo, and they cloned Mew. And he wasn't too happy about that. He ended up breaking out and killing all the scientists on the island. And then he basically becomes a badass of his own island and then starts training Pokemon on his own. Which is pretty ironic because he started doing the thing that he hated, you know, people for pretty much. And he goes ahead and he clones all these Pokemon and they look pretty cool. But basically, he challenges all these trainers to a battle to prove his superiority and in the uh, aftermath, he damages a bunch of people's lives and, you know, these creatures he created. Ash isn't too happy about that, and he tries to do something, and that's pretty much when Mewtwo learns. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. So again, I think it's pretty cool that we get to play with these guys. You know, the modders that do, uh, you know, the things that they do is pretty amazing. You know, I'm always blown away by the things I see. And they also have the shiny forms of them too. So there's shiny Venusaur of it. Um, so yeah, I'm, and oh, I forgot that Spirit Zacian always kills me. But yeah, you guys, it's pretty cool. Um, I suggest you guys try out these mods. You know, they have a whole new life they breathe into the game and... Especially seeing stuff like this, it's classic, you know, brings a nostalgia trip and all that. So go ahead and check that out. It's pretty cool. Number two. Agumon, Venture Ball, Sue. That's right, you guys. My number two mod is Digimon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Look at these guys. They're so cute. I've always been a fan of Digimon, and it's just amazing to be able to play as them. There's tons of other Digimon that I haven't even included, so I might do a video on that, so be sure to subscribe. I might do more videos on this. And also, you can use the Gigantamax to warp Digivolve, so check that out, man. Look how awesome that is. Easily my second favorite mod. And number one. All right, you guys, so my number one favorite mod is actually a combination of mods. It's a Fakemon, Pokemon from other games, Pokemon from the animes mods, because look at that Shadow Mewtwo and Shadow Lugia. Look at that Spiritization. Look at that Suicune. Like, come on, how could you not love these designs? And to be honest, I saw a post on Facebook about how to get Shadow Mewtwo, and I instantly needed it. So that's how this whole journey down the mods came. Look at this Mewtwo, like, I can't believe I'm playing with this. I know he's from Pokémon Tournament, and you can play with him there or whatever, but it's not the same. It's definitely awesome to be able to go on this journey with him, and just look at his moves. He's just killing fools. Sorry, uh, Togedi, you're out. And then up next, we got Ash's Butterfree. Come on, you know, like the first episode I ever saw was him catch Caterpie. So immediately, I was nostalgic when I saw this. 
every time I see that episode, I cry. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. And if you don't cry, you don't care about your Pokemon. Look at him go. Just look at how hard he tries. Up next, we have a Pokemon from the X and Y series against a Spirit Zacian. Look how cool he looks with his sword, man. It's called Spirit Zacian, and it's a mod. It's so awesome. I love it. Of course, it's a mod. I don't know why I said mod. Just look at him go, though. Sorry, Zygarde. Up next, we have this beautiful Suicune. I seen this a long time ago as a post, but then it became a mod, and I was just like, yes, I need that. Unfortunately, right now, there is no Entei. But we do have the other legendary dog, so after this animation, we'll check him out. Oh, no, we got Lugia next. Sorry about that. So, Lugia, Shadow Boy, you know what's up with him, man. He's a fan favorite, and I'm so glad I could get him. If it wasn't Shadow Lugia, it would have been, uh, man, I don't even know. Again, I just love him. Look how great he looks. Next up, we have Reiku. He's an alternate form. He looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. He reminds me of the Digimon Raidermon from Season 2. He just looks awesome. So, thanks for watching. It's been King Starscream here. Like always, remember your training and stay safe out there.